Right, so technically we can start firing at these enslavers. Ooh, these guys actually leveled up. That's fantastic. We do have some additional warriors now coming out of the summoning core. Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Gladius. Now, there's a reason why we're not actually in the game right now. The game was updated since I last played, and it's now incompatible with our save. So, that is a bit of a shame. However, things did not go very smoothly last time. So, this will give me an opportunity to play as a different faction, and uh, maybe do things a little bit a little bit better. So we're going to be playing as the Necrons this time. As you can see here, they don't use food. They don't use food or anything like that. This is going to be pretty different from what we're used to. I'm also going to play with random AI. And we're not going to determine what what kind of race or faction they actually are. So we are just going to go exactly like this. And we're going to go exactly with just medium difficulty all the way through. All right, so here we are with the Necrons, and uh, yeah, as you see here, we actually need ore instead of food. So this is going to be interesting. Anyway, this is going to be a bit different as well. So I'm going to try and just read these things relatively quickly so that we know exactly what's going on. So these Canoptech spiders allow you to erect a city that will form the backbone of your dynasty on Gladius. To found your first city, click that. Okay, yes. Well, we know... We know how to do that. So where do we want to actually build something? Because I would say probably over here somewhere. Maybe over here would be good. Can I, can I actually not do that? Do I need to actually move first? Yeah, I, I and also there's ruins of Val right here. So you, sh should I just actually... I'm going to just move over here. Oh, this is not good either. Going right next to the ocean is never a good idea. Uh, never a good idea. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, well, we're just going to explore around a little bit with our main warriors here. I'm actually going to take them together because I'm a bit... Actually, wait a minute. Up here is just a... Just a... Uh, well, it's actually not even anything. It's just a dead end by the looks of things. So nothing really to worry about in my opinion. So we're going to probably move our city maybe around here and then we'll make it next turn. Yeah. And uh, let's just move these guys up here just to make sure that we've scouted out everything. Yeah, we've scouted everything. So now we can move ahead with our other warriors here. And we'll see what we can do. But this time around, I'm going to make sure that we don't take too many casualties early on because that was pretty bad of me last time. Anyway, uh, can, can I not... So, is this the only place that I can actually do it? Oh, that's weird. Uh, okay, well, I suppose that's fine. Anyway, let's acquire that tile as soon as possible. And then we also want to get this quarry up and running so that we can get some more ore. So, let's put that... Actually, we can't even do that right now because we need to acquire some tiles. Ah, that's a shame. Oh, well, never mind. Let's just acquire a whole bunch of tiles and then we'll get that going when that's ready. And that's only going to be two turns, so it should be pretty quick. Let's tell our other units to come down here as well. Now, they do have an ability here. Let me actually just take a quick look at that. That is Necro Necrodermis Repair, and that restores hit points. It restores six hit points for a cost of 75 influence. So in other words, we definitely want to be doing something about that. Anyway, let's see what we can do with our... Research here increases the production output, grants infantry the ability to teleport to cities and monoliths. That's actually a fantastic ability for defense. Building that produces ground vehicles as well as increases loyalty. Building that produces heroes increases the ore output of alchemic quarries. I think I'm going to go for that first off. We want to get a strong economy going almost immediately, and then we're going to go from there. As the proud leader of a Necron tier dynasty, it never known defeat. Never until your people met the Old Ones and dared to attack their star-spanning empire. Your dynasty had been on the front line when the war with the Old Ones started, and you were some of the first to face their wrath. Your fringe worlds were scoured and your core worlds besieged for generations. When the Catan called the Messenger and now the Deceiver, promised your people immortality through biotransference into undying machine bodies you snatched at it greedily. Later, you betrayed him and his kind, shattering them into Catan shards now used as weapons. 
To no avail, sadly, though your new soulless bodies were nigh indestructible, even as their empire collapsed, the old ones encircled your crown world and used their uncanny powers to trap you within it, driving their warp technology into its surface, binding you to the depths. You retreated to the underground stasis tombs that Zarek, the Silent King, had ordered constructed, and waited for the final assault, which never came. Eventually, you slept, awaiting the Silent King's call. Now, sixty million years have passed, and you've woken into… chaos. Signs of battle between the Old Ones as humanoid creations litter the surface, as do the ancient enemy's traps. These devastated your people upon awakening, leaving a few surviving tombs widely scattered. Through the warp storm, you can hear nothing from your overlord, Zarek. Where are the Old Ones? Who won the war? Is this another trap? Where are your Catan gods? We must investigate, cautiously. Our first task is to quickly wake a cohort to defend against the Old Ones forces. So we need to construct a summoning core right there, produce some warriors, and invoke a rapid rise on warriors production. That will give us 50 energy as a reward. We don't really need to rush with that right now, so I'm not going to be too hard pressed to do that immediately, but we'll get it done. We will get it done. No problem at all. But I'm actually kind of excited to play as the Necrons. I was thinking initially that I was going to do that with the previous series with the Space Marines, but I thought, why don't we just go with a, an old classic, and that's that's the reason why I went with the, the Space Marines that time. But it's going to be pretty fun to find out just exactly how powerful the Necrons can be. And uh, to do that, obviously, oh yeah, nice, we're getting some getting some good hits right there from our Overwatch. And uh, yeah, let me actually just take a quick look here. Do these guys need to, do they need to stand closer or anything like that to these guys to actually deal more damage? Or can I just kill them from here? Maybe I can just kill them from here. I think I should be able to finish them off now. I hope. Yeah, there we go. Wow, they actually seem much more powerful than the Space Marines at the moment. But obviously, maybe that's just because we are lucky enough to be in good positioning or something along those lines. And as you can see, we're gaining even more enemies to fight, which is good because that means our units can level up. They can, you know, show themselves. Oh, OK, they might be a little bit, maybe a little bit more fragile, which is a bit weird considering they're Necrons, but a little bit more fragile than the Space Marines, perhaps. Anyway. There you go. We have now completed our first research, and I guess we're just going to continue attacking here. Yeah, that's not a lot of damage at all. And we're going to have to choose some research here. Okay, so now, do I want to get heroes, or do I want to produce ground vehicles? Because ground vehicles we did actually see were pretty awesome. Increases the production output of summoning cores. That might actually be better, though. Because summoning cores are going to cause, yeah, cause, cause, yeah, exactly, are, are going to give us much more reinforcement when we need it. And uh, I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling that maybe one of my warrior groups are going to go down here, which is not, not good at all. We don't want that. So I'm probably going to try and remove them from this situation if I can. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. That's basically the best I could do, really. And I'm actually wondering whether I should continue to hit these guys, because if I hit them one more time, they're probably going to just run away. But I don't really want them to run after our other forces and finish them off. So I'm going to try and reduce their strength as much as possible, and maybe that would deter them. Yeah, they're going to run away, as I thought. They're probably going to just try and hide a little bit, try and restore themselves. Do bear in mind that these fellows right here are actually level 2 as far as I can tell, so that's not great. But we're going to do as much damage as we can to them, and we're going to move into our territory here so that we can restore ourselves a little bit quicker. And finally, we've actually gained a whole bunch of tiles, so we can now start getting things. So I guess we're going to construct some quarries, I guess. That would probably be a good idea. And a summoning core. That is going to be very, very important indeed. So we're going to get one of those 
up and running as well. And otherwise, we're going to obviously tell these guys to hold position until healed, and they'll do that next turn. We're probably going to have to tell our other forces to run away as well, because it seems like these level 2 enemies are certainly causing a great deal of difficulty for us. Anyway, as you can see there, we already completed some research. That was fast. That was very, very fast indeed. I was not expecting them to be that quick, but they were. Very nice. Okay, so let's choose some more research then. So shall we go for a monstrous support unit that founds new cities? That actually sounds like a pretty good idea, considering we probably do want to expand a little bit. Allows Tomb Blades to ignore ranged damage reduction. I don't exactly know who Tomb Blades are. Ranged damage reduction. Mm, well, maybe that's okay. Ah, shelters are probably going to be pretty good as well. Increasing population limit is very important. Increases the armor of Tomb Blades. Hmm. I'm actually wondering whether that's a transport of some kind. Maybe it is. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to go for shelters first, and then we'll go for the spider after that, and maybe we want to get something to do with the Tomb Blades, but we'll see exactly what they are as we go on. And we probably want to move in. Ah, I can't move in there. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess I'll just move here then instead. And these fellows are going to be back up to full HP next turn, hopefully. Yep, there we go. They're basically, yeah, they are full HP. So now we can go outside there and uh, hopefully not get our faces nommed off. But, well, technically we are Necron, so I, I guess we don't really have faces, kind of. We're, we're, we're metal, so not really, I guess. We kind of do, but they're more viewports, I suppose, <laughs> or something like that. Anyway, we seem to be doing absolutely fine so far, and all of our resources are in a pre in pretty good shape right now. Okay, so now we have full strength, both of our groups. Let's move them out here. And uh, I think what I'm actually going to do is once I got the summoning core up and running, we're going to just claim a couple more tiles here. So I'm just going to claim some more research here. And maybe some energy and some ore and all that sort of stuff. And then we're going to start producing warriors. We're just going to get a whole bunch of these guys. Maybe maybe two more of them. And then we'll be able to scour around the various environment and see what, exactly what's going on. Aha! Hello there. Okay, so we've encountered a relic. Yes. Uh, hmm. This is not good. This is not good at all. And there's a very good reason for that. One of these, they're gonna, they're gonna try to brainwash them, aren't they, again? Yeah. Oh, no, no, they're just gonna run away. Oh, fantastic. That's actually really good. That is really good for us. This is actually a really nice place for us to maybe settle, because as you can see here, there's actually Rakaf Leaf right here. So that might make sense. Anyway, given the average Necron's lack of need for water, food, or entertainment, these shelters don't resemble a human shelter or even an orc shack. Instead, they're partway between a barracks, a tomb, and a workshop, where the cryptex and canoptech constru constructs move between dormant Necron warriors, endlessly maintaining and repairing them. Wow, sounds fun. Alright, so yeah, we're going to get these guys to come over here. We're going to move them back. We don't want to get overwhelmed, of course. And let's choose some additional research. Let's get the Canoptech Spider now, because it's just research. We're not actually building it right now. So that makes the most sense, in my opinion. Alright, so let's actually see what's happening here. So we can't see anyone right now, which is a bit disappointing, but it's okay. We'll be able to hopefully shoot at them relatively soon. Now that we're all together, this should be a lot easier. Now, these crew towns right here, they're not actually level 2. The other ones were actually level 2, and that's probably the reason why we were having so many difficulties with them. But, yeah, anyway, let's just move them along here. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's much better. And I'm going to need to build some shelters relatively soon as well. Ah, the Enslavers are definitely going to do some brainwashing now by the looks of things. Or they're just going to do a melee attack. Yeah, a devastating melee attack that does 6 damage. That's fantastic. Oh, wow. Okay. I really do not want these warriors to die, so I guess I'm going to have to get them out of here as quickly as possible. And we'll probably have to move the others as well. Ah, 
yes, it's a little bit of a back and forth at the moment, mainly because these fellows are so high level that it's kind of difficult to uh, actually get anywhere at the moment. But obviously, we, we, you know, we're getting there. We just got to get some, yeah, we just got to get some warriors. There we go. Okay, so we're going to get two of those. And we need some more energy production, I feel. So I'm probably going to, obviously, after I construct some shelters here, we're going to get some more energy production. We're going to have to clear some tiles. I can't actually do that just yet, by the looks of things. So we're going to have to wait. Yeah, I can't do that just yet. Okay. Ah, there we go. Though essentially an automated drone, a Canoptech Spider is nonetheless a formidable foe. Its vast array of self-repair and backup systems, vital for enduring, uncaring millennia, offer substantial protection against incoming fire. In return, any enemy that strays within reach of the Canoptech Spider will have flesh scoured from bone by a multitude of mechanical tools and pincers. And as you can see, it has 18 HP. That's pretty crazy. It has 8 armor as well. I'm actually wondering how much damage it's capable of doing. So I'm kind of uh, kind of wanting to build one pretty soon, but well, let's just tell everyone to hold position until healed and we can skip those guys as well. Let's choose some more research. We can get something else along here. Increases the healing of reanimation protocols, increases the energy output of energy cores, grants Canoptech spiders the ability to construct Canoptech scarabs? That sounds pretty good actually. Let's do that. Why not? It's fun. Let's go for it. Yeah, these guys are going to take a long time to get their health back up, but I don't really want to go all the way over there just to have them run back again, so I guess we'll just leave them where they are for the moment. Ah, the quest has been updated, yes. The living have spread across this world like weeds, particularly the virulent humans, the Old One's final curse whose primitive dwellings cover the surface. Enslave them if you can, exterminate them if you cannot. We have to kill scattered units. Ah, interesting, okay. Not entirely sure who they are or what they're doing, but, well, we're going to do our best, I guess. Let's move a couple of people into range of these crude hounds that have now decided to get over here. And hopefully we'll be able to eliminate them. Because we need that XP. We certainly do need that XP. And we've got some more warriors to join us. And I'm going to need that shelter built relatively soon. Because as you can see here, we're at 5 growth right now. Hmm, maybe we can start moving ahead now that we have 3 groups. That might make sense. We are getting a, another group, obviously, but maybe we want to just make sure that we're in a decent enough defensive position so that if anyone decides to come up to us, then at least we have the opportunity to destroy them. Ah, it seems like this is where we need to be, according to this little arrow here. All right. Well, we're going to try. Ah, uh, Scarab Hive. Okay, so, uh, yeah, they sweep across the battlefield in vast, undulating swarms that devour all in their path. Mindless feeding machines, the Scarabs are constructs designed to break down matter into raw energy that can then be woven into fresh forms. Within the confines of a tomb, this process is one of clearing and manufacture, but on the battlefield, it is a powerful force of destruction. Uh, that's going to be very interesting. Okay, so, maybe what I can do is once I regain control of my city in just a second, we might just be able to start building a spider, which would be pretty cool. Okay, let's move these guys over here. Now, if these hounds move closer to us, two of these groups are going to shoot, so that's pretty good. Otherwise, what else do we want to go for here? Tomb Blades to ignore range damage reduction. I'm actually going to see here for a second. Do they actually use that? They're using Gauss Flayers. Oh, okay. And they're using reanimation protocols. Oh, okay. So maybe it would be an idea for me to go for something that actually does increase the healing of reanimation protocols. That makes sense. And I hope that most of the... Uh, <laughs> hopefully most of the units in the Necron Empire actually do have reanimation protocols. So then they're going to all benefit from it. Alright. Yeah, reanimation protocols. That basically heals them every single turn. Which is pretty amazing. So I think we're going to 
hopefully make good use of it. Now these guys, they got into the forest, which is going to mean much, much reduced damage for us, which is really bad. But I don't know if I can really do anything else about it, so I guess I should just try and shoot them as much as possible. It's not, it's not particularly efficient. But hopefully this is doing enough damage just to reduce the amount that they're able to output. Ah, there's the enslavers. They're coming along now as well. Yeah, look at that. Only two damage instead of, what was it, four or something? So that's pretty good. Okay, that was a nice hit. And then I'm going to actually move these guys back because those enslavers are probably going to try and enslave us. Uh, the name says everything. And we'll just shoot with these fellows. Nice. Okay, so that was some good experience right there. And we're all relatively high in HP thanks to the reanimation. Right, so technically we can start firing at these enslavers. Ooh, these guys actually leveled up. That's fantastic. We do have some additional warriors now coming out of the summoning core. And I guess I should move these guys maybe, maybe over here so no one can take the forest next to us again. That might make sense. And then I guess we'll just all fire. We'll just try and deal as much damage as possible, but even so, the damage that we're able to deal is not really that much. As you can see, it's only 4.2. But we were able to eliminate at least one of them. Okay, so now we want to produce one of these spiders. It's only going to actually take five turns. I actually thought that it would have been much more. Hmm. Right, okay. So, what else do we need to do here? Well, we need to get another quarry up and running, don't we? It would probably make the most sense. Let's get let's get three more quarries up and running. I feel like we really badly need the ore. As you can see here, we are at plus one. And can we acquire some tiles? Yeah, let's acquire some more tiles. Thank you very much. There we go. All right. So, yeah, this is obviously going a lot better than the Space Marines campaign, but maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. These enslavers do pose a pretty great threat, especially considering they might very well be able to enslave one of our level two parties here. And that's that's just not what you want, is it? No, certainly not. Almost. Almost dead. I don't exactly think we're going to be able to kill it as it runs away. It's not going to go that far, though. It's only going to go into this hex over here. So if I can maybe... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get there. Am I? Maybe I can get there? Yeah, I can get there. That's fantastic. But we now have some guardsmen over there who are going to shoot at us. But they're not going to deal that much damage, I don't think. No, they're not going to deal that much. I actually cannot believe that I did not kill that. Well, that's crazy. Oh uh, well. Let's actually finish it off then, I guess. Okay, thank you very much. Phew. Alright, well, let's start to encroach on the relic now, because it's going to be very important for us to get, get that, actually, I think. And that reminds me, we actually do need to get some shelters, don't we? So maybe next turn I'm going to try and assign some shelters to being built. Let's actually see where they are. Where are the shelters? Oh, there's the shelters. Oh, okay. So we technically already have the population increase. I actually thought that I'd have to... Oh, wait a minute. Did I already build that? Apparently I already built that. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine then, I guess. All right. So we now have... What do we have? What did we actually get there? doesn't it doesn't seem like anything well that, that's kind of interesting okay so it gives you it gives you loyalty Ah, okay so as you can see there it gives you actually increases the loyalty of your cities by four which is actually pretty good we've got some guardsmen there as well 
Okay, well, that Canoptech Spider is going to be done soon, and hopefully we'll then be able to settle a city somewhere around here. I think this would probably be the best choice, because that will prevent any interlopers, with the exception of them being over here. As you can see, I have to kill the scattered units, so I have to kill one here and one there as well. But it will prevent people from maybe attempting to attack us from this side if we uh, have a city at least here. So that's pretty good. It was actually a really big mistake on their part, but there you go. Necrons are more likely to shrug off apparently fatal damage. Yeah, there we go, that's nice. Alright, so now they're going to be even better than they were beforehand. And there you go, nice. Okay, so we eliminated those fellows. I think that is actually, yep, there we go, that is one of the scattered units. So I think we're pretty good, and I think basically what I can do now is I can just wait for the Canoptech Spider and we can uh, just reinforce this area a little bit while we wait for it and we'll be constructing our new city in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.